English teachers, what topic on a write about anything essay made you lose hope in humanity? I was teaching a university 101 class, study habits, how to write essays, time management, how to get by at college for kids who honestly aren't really ready for college. The assignment, one paragraph about something that interests you. One of those essays read, I am interested in blueberry muffin. Like how they round on the top and ripped on the sides. That what I like. I kept that on my fridge for a year. I too am interested in blueberry muffin. I had a poetry unit my first year of teaching. Learned very quickly that they could write about anything but teenage love. God, I read so much bad love poetry that year. Make the next assignment for them to write about anything but teenage love. But with a subtext that could be read as if it's all about teenage love. Former English adjunct here. One time a student wrote about a first date that went horribly wrong. Including running over a cat and having it stuck to his truck tires. And then vomiting at dinner. Another one that stands out wasn't a topic. But an assigned research paper. A student maintained that she didn't need sources. Because God told her the information. She actually cited God as a personal interview in. Correct. MLA format. Got. Personal interview. The 8th of November. 2013. Student here. My friend and I were sitting secondary school English and we had to write about a crisis for an end of year creative writing test. He decided to write about how he was in a crisis of failing this test due to us having a week full of non-stop exams all filled with technical difficulties and mistakes prior to this exam. For him this test was the final straw and he spent the hour ranting about how much he hated this test and how he was going to fail. He passed with flying colors and a note from our teacher, to be a little more appropriate and less on the nose next time. My HS English teacher had to state, due to her submission the year before, that writing about your foot fetish and pleasuring your so with your feet would not be read or graded. I was in a film class and the professor also had to clarify, due to events of last semester, submitting pornography of any kind, even with all parties consenting, for a film project will constitute an automatic failure on the assignment. Two stand out. First one the prompt was if you could go back and change one thing from your life, what would it be? A young man wrote about the night his abusive alcoholic dad came home. Apparently from the story, dad came home this way often. The fateful night he wanted to change was the first time he stood up to his dad. Dad came home. Kid defended his mom and dad in a drunken rage left. Dad got into a head on collision and died. Kid totally blamed himself for his father's death. Second story the prompt was create a holiday and what the traditions and customs of the holiday were. A student created National Black People Day. I was like okay, how are you going to celebrate it? She said by killing white people. I was like what? She said yeah, once a year we can kill as many white people as we want. I got the counselor involved in both of them. What the frick? Not a teacher but stepfather. Daughter was a HS kid wrote a report about weather cut and paste from the internet. The language varied in writing style and grade level from paragraph to paragraph. I offered that rewriting in her own language was the minimum she could do to avoid making it obvious she plagiarized. She decided elementary school level was her style and chose to rewrite the college level paragraphs. When she thought an acceptable substitution of cloud depression was the weather is sad, I just gave up. I would be pretty dang disappointed too. Not an essay but we were doing impromptu speeches and one guy recited the Weird Al song Albuquerque word for word until the teacher finally told him to stop after 10 minutes. Not a teacher but I used tutor middle schoolers and lower class men. Just graduated in HS. A kid wrote an essay about cavemen using hieroglyphics to communicate how they'd fight the dinosaurs. Essay was right about an early human civilization and compare and contrast their way of life to ours. This kid was in AP World History effectively her college level class, and didn't understand that there was around 63 million years separating dinosaurs and the first homo sapiens civilizations. He then told me that I was incorrect and posed the question if dinosaurs were dead then how did people ride them. I was truly baffled by that. This, an incident where a guy threatened to scoop my nuts like they were senates. A girl who didn't understand that countries that exist now didn't always exist. And a guy who couldn't understand how supply and demand works simply because he would just go out hunting if food gets too expensive is why I stopped tutoring history and economics. 
I took and sat preparation course one summer which would teach you a variety of tricks and tips for doing better as well as practicing taking tests. Amidst telling us tips for the essay portion, they explained how the grading system worked and that you need to be slightly careful because if the people grading it feel they cannot be objective about it, then you'll just get a zero. They cited a story where once the essay topic was we have no fate but what we make for ourselves, which many of you might recognize. You were to discuss why or why not it was true. One student wrote an essay on how it was true, and went on to describe that the holocaust was the Jews own fault for his supporting evidence. Needless to say, he received a zero because none of the graders could read it objectively. Comma amidst telling us tips for the essay portion. They explained how the grading system worked and that you need to be slightly careful because if the people grading it feel they cannot be objective about it, then you'll just get a zero. Well that certainly explains why most colleges threw out that portion of the score. I teach literature at a college and mostly deal with freshmen and sophomores. For our free writing unit, one of the assignments asked the students to write any original story based on your favorite fictional genre. So, one of my students wanted to do horror. I said great, that's also a favorite of mine. Go nuts. Eventually, the assignments are turned in and I'm grading them at home. I get to the kid with the horror story and it's about a serial killer who stalks women. Okay, whatever, nothing I haven't seen before. But then the story goes into long, excruciating detail about the next victim this killer plans on stalking murdering, a petite blonde in her early 30s who teaches English. And it just so happens I'm a petite blonde in her early 30s who, well, yeah, I didn't report it or anything since it was a creative exercise. I didn't grade him unfairly, either. But I seriously couldn't look that kid in the eye ever again. If there was something to make me start looking over my shoulder, this would be it. Until last year, my students, 7th grade, ages 12-13, had to do a science fair project. They had to create a topic with a testable theory, does brand X detergent get more stains out than brand Y? This was accompanied with a research report of the topic. I would give the students a sample report I created. Every year, I would tell them not to cop from their sources, and I would easily find out who did. Every year, some literally copy word for word from of the easiest of sources, Wikipedia, Q mad parents, Q exact copies of the report, side by side with the highlighted portions of the report. In high school, we had a history essay to write about JFK and one of my classmates wrote the entire essay by naming him Jean-Francois Kennedy. Yes it was in France, my teacher was so astonished by it, he asked her why she didn't wrote the abbreviation JFK instead of guessing the name, and she answered that she actually thought his name was Jean-Francois Kennedy. Not a teacher, but in third grade I moved to a new school, I was in a Montessori before. The new school was a catholic school, I was a unitarian universalist, and we always called our preacher reverend, not father. In my new school, the school priest, Father Jim, was retiring and we had to write a short essay about how much we'll miss him. This was like, I dunno, the third day of school, I had no freaking clue what the heck a father Jim was, and since nobody bothered to write out his full name I assumed this school just had a weird name for the gym. So of course, I wrote an essay about how much I'll miss the gym, and how terrible it's gonna be that I can't run all over it or play football in it anymore, and how terrible it is that the gym is ray tire. I n- I ended the essay wishing the gym well with its new tires. The teacher was not amused. Not an English teacher, just a mother reading over her 10th grader son's essay two weeks ago. He had written something to the effect of, heaps of people have heaps of hobbies. So we had a conversation about using more academic language and employing a wider range of vocabulary. I come back 10 minutes later and he'd used the thesaurus function in word so it now read, piles of people have mounds of hobbies. Just, whoa. You son is either dumb or brilliant was a substitute teacher in grad school and was filling in for an older English teacher. Students were to hand in their free write essays and then to read. Some kid wrote a straight up child pornography story. He stared at me like a deer in headlights while I was reading them while they were reading. I made it one page and then I whatsapped the department head who took the student after the class. So yeah that was the worst. Fourth grade, I was teaching the kids how to write short stories. 
kid wrote a story about going to a new school for the first day and being abused by teachers. It was awful. Turns out this kid was being abused by his dad and thought it was normal behavior for adults to act that way. Absolutely heartbreaking. Not a teacher. In high school we got told to write a short horror story. Someone googled short horror story printed it out and handed it in. He literally just took a screenshot and printed it so you could see the URL and what he was watching on YouTube. Spoiler. He didn't pass. I'm impressed he reached the level of print screen. To this day I see posts where people captured the screen with their phones. It wasn't right about anything it was more like create a story. My student, 9 years old, female, wrote about two best friends. They were at the mall when one of them got kidnapped by a villain who put her in a suitcase and took her to London. Everyone searched for her and she was found dead. The villain had murdered her. The police arrested and imprisoned him for 10 years and then killed him. The girl's best friend was really sad and killed herself and then they lived happy ever after. She is 9. 9. And wrote about kidnap, murder, police violence and suicide. And romanticized suicide. Comma and then they lived happily ever after. My girlfriend and her sister have some pretty daft assignments. The GF got asked to write a paper on any aspect of history so just wrote about her life up until that point. Her sister got asked to do a presentation on evolution and did it on the 2001 film. Not a teacher either but I remember I had to read over a classmate's essay and he wrote about about a bunch of Disney princesses going to jail on Alcatraz. Man, the competition for the prisoner with a bunch of bird friends would be fierce. Here's one I can actually answer. I was teaching an IELTS test prep class to high school aged students in China. One of my students is planning on being a nutritionist, and when I gave her a topic about what she would change if she could be the president for a day, she said that she would imprison everyone who was over a certain BMI until they were thin, and if they were repeat offenders they should spend life in prison for wasting public resources and making healthcare more expensive for everyone else. When a 16 year old male student wrote about the fine world of webcoming and how easy it is to make a lot of money off attention hungry old people. Okay PLS tell me he isn't one of them. I wrote an essay in 4th grade about people were all stupid and how much I hated my stupid life. The teacher gave me a B plus and said nothing more about it. Must have supplied good evidence. I was a tape. I once had to read a 5 page spider p fic when we asked for a creative writing short story assignment. It was supposed to be an assignment imagining if humans reproduced in another manner how life would be different. Not about the reproduction but about human social structure. English tutor here. I had a student in high school who was really struggling with the writing prompts I was giving him. He was studying hybrid genres in school, and how to write a hybrid genre short story. So I basically gave him a long list of genres, told him to pick any two he wanted and combine them to write a story. He didn't get it. He emailed me asking for clarification, like which topic do I choose here and I told him he could be as creative as he liked. Pick horror and see fee. Pick mystery and crime. Pick romance and mystery. Whatever strikes your fancy. I literally could not have given him an easier prompt. Then he asks me to give him some examples of hybrid genre stories, so he has an idea of what to write. So I emailed him a list of famous hybrid genre books. For example, The Martian Chronicles by Ray Bradbury, Gun with Occasional Music by Jonathan Lethem, Harry Potter, etc. This kid basically latched onto Harry Potter and rewrote the sorting ceremony from Philosopher's Stone. Word for word, there was no orientation, no info about his main characters, who were coincidentally also called Harry, Ron and Hermione, no complication, no climax, no resolution. It was literally just an incomplete retelling of the sorting hat ceremony from the first book. Not only did this kid fail to think of a single creative story idea, he plagiarized one of the most famous books of all time and was daft enough to think I wouldn't notice. It really made me despair. Not a teacher, but a few months ago I did this biology thing in which we could choose between several topics and do research on them. I chose fish's respiratory systems. From there I could choose exactly what to do, and I decided that the title would be, would the fish smoke through their gills or through their mouths? A deep analysis of the gill respiratory system, 
It was a four page work and the professor liked it so much that he asked my permission to publish it in the local newspaper. It was freaking hilarious going to the local store and finding it in the first page. This guy wrote me a paper about how Swamp Bob ruined his marriage, describing it initially as an unexpected rash. He wrote at length about how this rash caused his wife to stop having sex with him and refuse him any intimacy. After some time, he and his wife got a divorce, and he promptly blames the rash for it. It isn't much later in the paper, at this point a good 6 pages long, that he details his struggles with proper hygiene due to cheap toilet paper causing this rash. So, because this guy couldn't wipe his butt properly, he lost his wife, his kids, and his sanity. To the point where he decided to come tell me about it. My second place is probably the guy who wrote about how he got AIDS. Not a teacher, but my classmate once wrote a solution essay titled Why do black people steal bikes? And how to stop it? One of the solutions included spray painting black people white. I wish I was making this up. This would actually be amazing satire. I got two, one as was mine and one was one of my students. In college I once wrote an essay where I argued that Hitler was responsible for the US. Feminist movement. I used the most simplistic logic. I wrote it as a joke. But my professor gave me an A because it was well written and she thought it was funny. The gist of it was that one of the main issues that caused the women's movement was that during World War II men and men had to leave their jobs to go to war. While they were gone the women took over those jobs. When the men came back they wanted the women to just go back to the house. The women instead wanted to be able to have jobs of their own since they now knew that they could do the jobs as well as the men. So my backwards logic was that since Hitler was the main cause of World War II, no Hitler equals no feminism. The ones that I got from a student was no essay at all. This wasn't exactly right about anything though. The topic was what would you do if you became the leader of your country? She didn't write anything. She said she couldn't think of anything that she would do. This student was a lesbian from Saudi Arabia. I'm just thinking to myself, you're a gay woman from Saudi Arabia and you can't think of anything that you'd change? I mean, that Hitler caused feminism essay isn't exactly inaccurate. Kind of like how technically, Genghis Khan killed Juliet in the Shakespeare play. A comment from some other post. Comma a friend of mine got high before his university entrance exam and ended up writing a 4 page essay explaining how much he would love to eat a pie. Comma life didn't get much better for him after that. My wife is an English teacher, so I got one. This happened about 2-3 years ago when my wife was still in grad school and interning. She handed out an essay like this, and a week later was grading the essays at home when she found one with no name on it. This student talked about how they have a younger sister who they love very much and what it means to be a big sister, and the stuff she does around the house to help out her parents. After about a page of this, the essay all of a sudden shifted to talking about how the father was sexually abusing the younger sister and how the student was sexually abused as well until the sister was born a few years ago. The most chilling part, for me, was the last sentence. It read please help me miss. I need to protect my sis. My wife called up the teacher who she was shadowing. As an intern you don't get your own class. You run someone else's class while the teacher observed you. And they immediately met up. The teacher was able to identify the handwriting. And DCF was called the next day after speaking to the student. Last I heard, the student and her daughter were removed from the home. In talking to the student the next day, she told the teacher and my wife that her mom reads all of her homework before she is allowed to turn it in, so she wrote enough to make the essay seem innocent and hid the second page from her. Frick people sometimes. Not a teacher. Senior year of high school we all had to write a 20 page research paper on a subject of our choosing and then present it to our class. I got mine done junior year because I was slightly advanced with my classes. Ended up with an A on the paper. See on my presentation. So of course, I helped my friends out. Other classmates found out and started offering to pay me to write theirs. Got quite a good lot of income that year. One girl contacts me a day before the essay is due. She has 4 very rough pages done. With only the intro being solidified. I know her from my volleyball team. She's nice, but a complete stoner. I say I'll try, and charge her a lot for 16 pages in one night. She chose to write about how the government's banning of weed is to control and subdue the populace. 
which is partly true, but all of her sources are from backdoor websites and conspiracy theorists. Since somehow the source list got approved by the teacher, she was in the lowest level English class, I couldn't change anything and had to go off the crazy sources she had. It ended up being an essay about how the government bans weed even though George Washington was a stoner, he wasn't. He just harvested hemp, while maintaining a secret drug experiment program where they test different drugs in humans to create super weapons. Surely an interesting experiment for me. Surprisingly the essay also received an A, although ended up being a B because she submitted it late. I did get it to her in time. In 8th grade we got assigned to group projects on different events. We had to write an essay and do an act of it as well. My group got the Kellogg Brian Pact. We didn't bother looking at a history book. We instantly thought Kellogg's cereal so we did an essay about the history of the cereal company. But the act was even better. We acted out cereal mascots going out to a club and someone was Tony the Tiger's security guard. Somehow we ended up with a C at least but my teacher was dumbfounded. In Spanish in 5th grade I wrote a story in Spanish, with a Spanish speaking classmate, that I translated entirely by some internet translator, circa 2002, called Going in a Hummer with a Rapper to McDonald's. Honestly, it was a freaking masterpiece, but I have no idea how it turned out in Spanish. Given my F, I'd say not great. Do you have the English version? In elementary school when we would do creative writing stuff I wrote a whole bunch of fanfiction about my hamsters in Jurassic Park. I wish I still had that. I gave a 5 minute speech about jam for my high school speech class. My sources were all cookbooks. Everyone else was doing a speech on something that mattered. You should speak to the blueberry muffin guy. A mate of mine had an early word processing program on his Amiga that he was very proud of I think it was called Wordsworth. He once wrote a huge school essay with it about South African activist Steve Biko and finished it the night before it was due in. He did a spell check but it was going to take hours so he set it to find and fix errors and went to bed. In the morning he printed it out and rushed to school to hand in his huge essay all about somebody called Steve Bike. We used to have the freshman at my high school write a narrative essay about someone who impacted your life, and every year we'd get essays about being sexually abused by family members. Every single year. It was frequently the first time these students had ever talked about it. The level of fricked up that people put kids through just sucks. I was in the second grade in high school and I remember my friend asked me if I could send him my presentation about the same topic as I had a year ago. The rest is literally hey, can I copy your homework meme? I sent him the presentation and lo and behold, there he is in front of a class. First slide of a presentation displayed on the wall by a projector, with my signature in the bottom left corner. Good thing I put it in just the first slide and he quickly skipped the slide. The teacher didn't notice and we laughed about it till our graduation. The assignment was to write about what you plan to do in the future for a living. The amount of guys writing about dealing drugs or gang membership was very high. A lot of strippers, mostly female. A lot of kids talking about fostering kids for the money, healthcare, and free rent that comes with it. A lot of girls talking about having one kid at 18 for free rent for the next 17 to 18 years and then having one other around 36 to continue the process so they wouldn't ever have to work until they were in their 50s. In China, they teach young children that Japanese people are evil and hate the Chinese. All from World War 2. So, even a little 9 year old girl wrote a paper about how much she hates the Japanese, because the Japanese kill Chinese people. It's as if China teaches it's a current problem, disgusting and widespread problem, as it's mandatory for public schools to teach once a year, during the anniversary of the war's end. Poor kids. China tends to teach racism and xenophobia a lot. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video.
bye for now.